I want to know what the five top serums are for fighting wrinkles if you're a mature woman. I'm about to share with you my picks for that. These are ones that I have tried myself and I've been trying for a long time. So that's what we're gonna get into today. Before we do, I want to take a second and show you what I have on. I do that because every single time I get asked what I have on for makeup or jewelry or a shirt or something. So I show you that really quickly and I let you know that it will all be linked and listed below for you along with all the products I talk about and the makeup that I have on for the day so that you don't have to guess about any of that. Just go down there and look really quickly. Also, I try really hard to remember to put all of the products in the first pinned comment. Sometimes I forget that, but if you'll remind me, I do it immediately. And if you are new to my channel, I wanted to say welcome to you. I'm so glad that you're here. And all of my regular subscribers, thanks so much for all of your support. As usual, I do appreciate you so very much. Don't forget to give this video a like and and don't forget to hit the reminder bell so that you can be reminded of any time that I put up a new video. All right, without further ado, let's delve into the top five wrinkle fighting serums and the reasons why they're so good. Let's talk about vitamin C. Why is that so good for you? Number one, it's an antioxidant, and that means that all of the free radicals, the nasty pollutions, and all the things that hit our face every single day, that is important to fight because when that hits our face, that can really stick with us throughout the day, and over time, that can age us. Also, vitamin C is a brightener. It really helps brighten our complexion as we get older our complexion can have a tendency to get a little bit sallow, a little bit dull, and vitamin C is a great one for brightening dark spots and all of the redness or those things that we might have. And vitamin C does help with cellular turnover. So that's important for us because we want our young skin underneath to come through. That's what collagen does, which we're gonna talk about in another serum. But I wanted to tell you that the one that I've enjoyed the most because I do have dry sensitive skin and I'm 56 years old, the one that I appreciate the most is the vitamin C serum that is the Super Serum Plus from Naturium. Let me tell you what is in this. It says vitamin C, retinol, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and salicylic acid. The vitamin C, obviously we just talked about retinol. We know that that works as a collagen builder. The niacinamide is a really great brightener and also an antioxidant as well. And niacinamide can help slough out the junk in our pores along with salicylic acid. If you have any sort of acne problems or breakouts at all salicylic acid is really good for that but salicylic acid is the sweep that cleans out our pores the more our pores are cleaned out the smaller they're going to appear if you have pores that have gunk in them they're going to be spread apart and that's really the problem when we see somebody with huge pores lots of times they'll just be clogged and they need to be cleaned out and then they can be refined and they look smaller so this serum is a really great one the retinol is okay to use with the vitamin C. This is what I use in the morning. When those serums are balanced like this, like retinol and vitamin C, when they're balanced like this with a company where they put them into a formula together, they're perfectly okay. Definitely one that I would recommend. Number two is the wrinkle fighting ingredient copper, copper peptides. Now, if you don't know this already, but amino acids are the building blocks of peptides and then peptides are the building blocks of collagen and that's why it's so effective now why don't we just put collagen on our face because the collagen molecule is too big to actually penetrate but peptides they are smaller and they are active and so they go in and they really penetrate our skin and they do that cellular turnover they're helping to build the collagen so we get plumper firmer, more elastic skin, which is what we need and what we want. Now, why copper peptides? Well, copper peptides are a little bit different in how they act. They not only are going in there and they're helping to build the collagen, but they also act as antioxidants. They can also repair your skin, meaning that if you do have collagen and elastin that needs repaired or gotten rid of, it can go in there and take care of that as well, and then build the new, and that's really what we want. So the serum that I am suggesting is from Biosense. This is one that I've been using forever. This is lovely. 
Squalane Copper Peptides Rapid Plumping Serum. You will see an immediate plumping with this because of the squalane in it. It is really very hydrating, but over time, this has made my skin look so good. I have had a lot of sagging skin from losing so much weight. If you're new here, I've lost over 155 pounds. And so, you know, when that skin gets pulled out, something's gotta happen and it's going to look a little bit saggy and droopy. And I've worked really hard to try and keep my skin as good as I can without getting any invasive surgeries. And I think copper peptides have really helped my skin through this journey that I have been on. Now also, I think that the six peptide skin booster from COSRX, which is a little bit more cost effective, it is really good as well. I interchange these. I use one in the morning and one at night. I use the one from Biosense in the morning because I feel like it's a little bit thinner and it plays a little bit better underneath my makeup and I'll use the one from COSRX at night. So I think both of them are really good. I just wanted to give you a secondary one that wasn't quite as expensive, although I I do know that this one right now on Amazon is on a little bit of a sale and I do know that this is the original product because it's sold from the Biosense store. So hopefully that helps you with copper peptides. Now another fantastic serum is one that I'm not going to necessarily talk too much about the ingredients. This is just one that I have used extensively and have seen so many benefits from it. And I can honestly say that the Dermatology HPR eye cream helped change my eyes so rapidly that I was very impressed. Now this has a new generation of retinoid in it big long name that I can't really pronounce, but you, if, you, if you go in and you do a little bit of research on this, you'll also find that not only does it have a retinoid in it, it has peptides in it, and it has ingredient plant extracts in it, ingredients in it that help with puffiness and dark circles. I really feel that the crepiness that I had on my eyelids has really diminished. That really crepey skin that you get up there that's really hard to wear any eyeshadow on. I feel like this has helped so much. Now, I do wanna highly recommend this. It takes a very small amount and I just enjoy it so much. But I did have one of you talk to me about the beauty of Joseon eye cream as well. This is the Revive Eye Serum with ginseng and retinol. It's not retinol, O-L, it's retinol, A-L. This is very gentle. Retinols are way more gentle than any sort of tretinoin or retinol. They're really good. This does have that in there as well as the ginseng. And she, and she told me that these two were very comparable and she feels like she's getting the benefits of the HPR at a better cost. So I wanted to bring this to you. I am still in the process of testing this and I wanted to make sure that I told you about it in this video because it is a little bit more cost effective and I know that lots of times skincare can get pretty expensive, but I swear by the dermatology one and it's just that good. The next serum to fight wrinkles that I highly believe in is the chemical exfoliants that we need to use. This is the AHAs, the BHAs. These are really good at turning over our skin. Now, if you're not sloughing off that old dead skin, if you're not getting rid of it, then whatever you're putting on your face at night or in the morning, it can't penetrate well. And so it's very important to do that for the efficacy of all of our serums. But also, if you want your skin to look glowing and vibrant, you have to get rid of the old dead skin. And the best way to do that is through chemical exfoliant because it goes in and it sloughs off everything, cleans out those pores again. My pick that I have just absolutely fallen in love with. And the person that turned me on to this is Sherry from Graceful Beauty. She's my dear, dear friend. And I watch her religiously because her skin to me just looks absolutely flawless. And I know why, because after using this for just a couple of times, I can tell a dramatic difference in my own skin. Not only does this give you a very pretty glow the minute that you put it on, but the next morning you're gonna see that your skin looks absolutely gorgeous and glowing still. From Dermalect, this is the Self Esteem Beauty 
sleep serum. This has salicylic acid, L-ascorbic acid, and glycolic acid in it. Glycolic acid will soften my skin like no other. I am just so impressed with how soft and supple my skin feels after I use that. Salicylic acid, we also talked about already that it's the sweep for the pores. It gets rid of all of the gunk and the dead stuff that we have. And then L-ascorbic acid is a vitamin C. We're using that at night. What are we talking about? Well, this this is just that brightening agent that makes our skin look so glowy and so good. So using this trifecta here is just wonderful and you're going to see dramatic changes within a couple weeks, I think, personally. It just makes your skin look absolutely beautiful. And I also want to tell you that I use this two nights a week. So on those nights, I don't use my retinol. However, I do use the copper peptides. I also do use this immediately after my cleansing and I let this sit for about 15 minutes before I go in with my copper peptides. It's just way better to let it sink in and let it do its job without interfering with the copper peptide serum. And I also forgot to tell you that I do use the eye cream morning and night, and I use those on my eyes immediately after I cleanse before I put any of the other serums on, just so this can really sink in. It's a very gel-like serum. And then I can go in with my other serums if I want to use those around the eyes. But one thing is don't use this around your eyes. Don't use the exfoliator around your eyes. If you have sensitive skin like I do, you will get some irritation. So just so you know that. Now the last ingredient that I wanna to talk to about is your retinols, your retinase. I don't talk about retinols, O-L, because those are not very potent. So if you are using a retinol, just know that it's gonna take you a lot longer because it does have to make a conversion process to get to a more effective retinol and then obviously the prescription retin-A. If you're using a prescription retin-A or tretinoin and you love that, go for it. I personally just have such sensitive skin that I was not able to do that. But as I got to looking into retinaldehyde or retinal with an AL, then I found that my skin still was doing really well and really loving all the benefits from it. It is the gold standard for being able to build collagen and collagen is what keeps our skin firm. It also builds elastin, which is the elasticity in our skin. It's what helps it to bounce back and to not sag. So I actually have three today that I want to talk about with you. I have recently just fallen in love with May Love and this is their Moonlight Renew Sleep Serum. This is such a nice serum full of retinols and I absolutely am loving how this feels on my skin. It comes out a little bit orangey looking as you can see in the demo right here. But so far in about the three weeks that I have been using this, I am in love with it. I think that it is a great addition to my retinaldehydes. I use several different kinds and they're the ones that I never skimp on. So like I told you, I do use this two nights a week and I don't use my retinaldehyde. You can, if your skin isn't super sensitive like mine, you can use these together and I'll tell you how. You use this sleep serum, which is the exfoliator, right after you cleanse. You let that sit for about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, you don't have to wait that long. Long. And then I will go in and I'll use my copper peptides. I let them sit for another five minutes and then I'll go in and I'll use something like the May Love or the other ones that I'm going to show you that is the retinaldehyde or the retinols. The other nice thing that I've recently heard and I probably get some pushback on this, but this is really important. Retinols with an AL is such a good product, but it's so gentle that you can use this in the morning as long as you're using a good SPF. So let me say that again. You can use this with your vitamin C in the morning if you want to. If you want the extra push on your skin to see the extra plumping and the extra collagen building, you can use this twice a day. You don't have to be afraid of using retinols because they're so much more gentle than the other prescription or retinol with an OL. So this one from May Love, full of all the good ingredients that I love, full of things that also buffer. I also really love the more affordable option from Naturium. This is the retinaldehyde cream, 0.1%. One of the strongest that you can get on the market. This is a gel-like one. I talk about this over and over and over again. It sinks into your skin. It is lovely. I have loved this and used tube after tube of it. But I also got sent the Murad Resurgent Retinol Resculpt Overnight Treatment. This 
this is an encapsulated retinol that is super super gentle on your skin although the may love is very gentle as well and so is the naturium because they are the retinaldehydes this is the encapsulated form which means that it over time will deliver to your skin which makes it even more gentle this is the most expensive one that i'm showing but i do love the way my skin responded to this and this is one of the best wrinkle treatments i've ever seen but if you are somebody that has deep wrinkles just keep on with your retinols it can take up to a year to really see a difference and then you're going to see benefit after benefit because it continues to build on itself but at 12 weeks you should start to see some pretty good results from any any of these all right friends that is the whole entire lineup of the five serums that I feel like are so effective on fighting wrinkles in a mature woman or if you have mature skin I did not put SPF in here because we should all be using SPF no matter whether we don't have any wrinkles or whether we have the deepest of wrinkles SPF should be in there that is one of our best wrinkle fighters however I feel like it's been talked about a million times I wanted to spotlight on these ones that I feel like really have helped my skin so much if you have any questions let me know down in the comments section also if i've missed your favorite serum also let me know that down in the comments don't forget that everything will be linked and listed below i hope that you are all doing very well please come back and see me in my next video love you much my friends goodbye